Welcome to Anywhere Math, I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we're going to talk about percents and decimals and how to go between the two. Let's get started. Now, before we get into example one, let's talk a little bit about percent in general. Well, what does percent mean exactly? So if I look at this 52%, well, percent means per cent. Cent means 100. There's 100 years in a century, uh, 100 legs on a centipede, 100 cents in a dollar. So 52% means 52 per 100. That's what it literally means. So if I'm looking at this example, write the percent as a decimal. For first one, A, 52%, I can write that as 52 per 100. Well, that just means 52 over 100, 52 per 100. Uh, and hopefully you remember with the fraction, this line just means division. I can think of this as 52 divided by 100. And hopefully you know the shortcut to divide by multiples of 10. All we do is move the decimal point to the left. If I divide by 10, I move it once to the left. Divide by 100, I move it twice, a thousand, three times, and so on. Uh, and if you don't believe me, we could actually do this. 52 divided by 100, 52 divided by 100. There's no decimal point, but I can put it here. All right, that's where it would go. Uh, well, 100 into 52 goes zero times. Now I'm going to add a zero. 100 into 520 goes 5 times. That would give me 500. Subtract, I get 20. Add another 0, bring it down. 100 into 200 would be 2 times exactly. Okay. So notice, all I did was I went from uh, 52 divided by 100 to 0 0.52. I just moved the decimal point twice to the left. Okay, um, And I got 0 0.52. So now that you know that, we don't have to bother with this, okay? So because basically 52% means 52 out of 100, to change it to a decimal, it's like I divide it by 100, which is moving the decimal point to the left, which would give me 0 0.52, okay? Now, one mistake I see people make is that they think, okay, 52%, that's per 100, so I can write 52% over 100 okay and that's not right when we change it to a fraction we're getting rid of that percent symbol okay we've already we've already set it per 100 that's why it's over 100 so you get rid of that if you leave it like this what that would mean then is 52 over 100 that's this 52 percent divided by 100 again so you're doing the same thing twice so don't make that mistake okay so if I wanted it as a fraction, it would be 52 over 100. But the example wants it as a, as a decimal. So all we're doing is moving the decimal point twice to the left and get 0 0.52. Okay. Let's do these other ones. These ones should be pretty quick now if we just use that. So 7%, all I need to do is move the decimal point twice to the left. Well, the decimal point would be here. Maybe I'll do that in red. The decimal point would be here, so all I do is move it twice to the left. So 7, here's my decimal point, there's once, twice. Now there's nothing here, which means I need to put a 0 there to hold its place. So I put a 0 there, so then my answer, I never want to start, I never want my answer to start with a decimal like 0 0.07, so I put a zero here as well, 0 0.07, okay? So 7% as a decimal is 0 0.07 or 7 one hundredths, okay? And the last one, C, 0.5%, again, same thing, just move it twice to the left to, to make it a decimal, so that's going to go 1, 2, so I'm going to have, I to add a zero there, and then 0 0.5. Right? The decimal point was here. I moved it once, twice. I got to put a zero as a placeholder. 
So 0 0.005. 0 0.005 as a decimal. Okay. Here are some to try on your own. All right, here's example two. Write the decimal as a percent. Now we're going the other direction. Instead of from percents to decimals, now we're going the other way. Decimals to percents. Uh, if you remember, from a percent to a decimal, all we did was move the decimal point twice to the left. So if you're wondering, how do I go from a decimal to a percent, I'm just doing the opposite. Instead of going twice to the left, I'm going twice to the right. Okay, and then I just need to add the percent symbol at the end. Okay, so 0 0.47 as a percent would become once, twice, 47 percent. Really simple. Okay, so if you want to try these on your own, go ahead. You can pause it and try them on your own. Uh, but here we go. 0 0.663 as a percent. I take this decimal point and move it twice to the right. One. Two, so it becomes here 66.3%. Make sure you add your percent symbol at the end, right? We're changing them to percents. And the last one, 1 1.8. Notice 1 1.8, that's greater than 1, which means my answer is going to be greater than 100%, right? These were all less than 1, which is why they're less than 100%. But this decimal is greater than 1, so you would expect an answer that's greater than 100%, because 1 is equal to 100%, right? Um, so here we go. 1.8, same thing, once, twice. Again, notice there's nothing there. I need to add a 0 as a placeholder, so that becomes 180%. And that makes sense because it's greater than 100%. Here are some more to try on your own. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe.